Born amidst war-torn Germany, the MG-42 emerged as a formidable titan in 1942, a weapon so fearsome that it struck terror into the hearts of millions and cast a long, chilling shadow over the Allies. Revered as the Hitler buzz saw, this legendary instrument of destruction would forever etch its name into the annals of history. Variations are even used to this day. Without further ado, let's explore the legacy of the MG-42, a weapon that not only withstood the test of time, but also influenced a generation of firearms that followed. At the beginning of World War II, the Germans were sweeping the battlefield with the new MG-34, from Poland to the streets of Stalingrad. However, tides started to change, and the German forces were in need of an upgrade, something with a higher fire rate and quicker barrel swaps. Introducing the MG-42, abbreviated from the German Maschinengewehr 42, which translates to Machine Gun 42, emerged as a versatile 7.9mm machine gun during the era of Nazi Germany. This weapon was introduced into the Wehrmacht's arsenal in 1942. It served to complement, and in certain cases, even supplant the MG-34 general-purpose machine gun across various divisions of the German armed forces. The MG-42 boasts a remarkable track record of reliability, durability, simplicity, and user-friendliness. But its most prominent feature lies in its capacity to unleash a formidable volume of suppressive fire. With an astonishing average rate of fire ranging between 1,200 to 1,500 rounds per minute, the MG-42 produces a distinctive muzzle report that sets it apart. While other automatic weapons like the French Darn, Hungarian Gebauer single-barreled tank MGs, Russian 7.62mm Shkaez aircraft gun, and the British Vickers K machine gun possessed comparable firepower. The MG-42's belt feed and quick-change barrel system enabled extended periods of sustained firing, setting it apart from these counterparts. Following the defeat of Nazi Germany, the MG-42's legacy lived on, forming the foundation for the nearly identical MG-1, MG-4259, and subsequently evolving into the MG-1A3, succeeded by the MG-3. Its influence also extended to the Swiss MG-51, SIG MG-710, 3, Austrian MG-74, and the Spanish 5.56mm Amelie light machine gun, Beyond its original deployment, the MG-42 found adoption by various armed organizations post-war and saw widespread replication and licensed production. To address the problems of the MG-34, such as sensitivity to dust and comparatively expensive production, the MG-34 was also damaged pretty easily compared to the future MG-42. So to fix this, a competition was organized to find a suitable replacement for the MG-34 machine gun, three companies were invited to submit their designs. Metal und Lackierwarenfabrik Johannes Grossfuss AG in Döbeln, Rheinmetall Borsig in Zömerda, and Stubgen in Erfurt. Among the various proposals submitted, Grossfuss AG's design stood out as the most superior. It featured a distinctive recoil-operated roller locking mechanism, whereas the other two competing designs utilized a gas-actuated system. Interestingly, Grossfuss AG had no prior experience in weapon manufacturing. Their specialization was in producing pressed and stamped steel parts, with their primary product being sheet metal lanterns. Doctoring Werner Gruner, a prominent design engineer at Grossfuss, had limited knowledge of machine guns when he was assigned to the project. However, his expertise lay in mass production technology. To familiarize himself with the utility and characteristics of machine guns, he attended an Army machine gunner's course and sought input from soldiers in the field. He then adapted an existing Mauser-developed operating system and incorporated insights gained from his interactions with Army machine gunners and experiences from the early stages of the war. The new design, constructed primarily from stamped metal, required significantly less tooling and was far easier to manufacture compared to other machine guns. Building the new gun took 75 man-hours a 50% reduction in labor compared to the 150 man-hours needed for the MG-34. Additionally, it cost 250 RM, a 24% reduction in cost compared to the 327 RM required for the MG-34. Now what sets this gun apart mechanically? The roller-locked recoil operation operates in the following manner. A pair of cylindrical rollers, situated within tracks on the bolt head, are forced outward into corresponding tracks in the barrel extension by the striker sleeve. 
This action locks the bolt firmly against the breech. When the weapon is fired, the rearward recoil force generated by the ignition of the cartridge propels the striker assembly backward. This movement permits the rollers to retract inwards, returning to their initial position, which unlocks the bolt head. Consequently, the bolt assembly is free to recoil, accomplishing the extraction of the spent cartridge and its subsequent ejection. The roller-locked recoil operation of the MG42 involves cylindrical rollers locking the bolt against the breech, with rearward recoil unlocking it, allowing the bolt to extract and eject spent cartridges, while a return spring pushes it forward to chamber a new cartridge, all in fully automatic mode. The MG42 is only capable of fully automatic. Firing single shots is challenging due to the high rate of fire, and a recoil booster at the muzzle enhances reliability and rate of fire. The MG42 operates from an open bolt, where the bolt remains to the rear until the trigger is pressed, releasing the bolt assembly, including the firing pin. The shoulder stock is designed for a secure left-handed grip against the shoulder to counteract recoil, and improper positioning on the bipod can lead to significant recoil, pushing a prone gunner backward. Additionally, the MG42's barrel shroud features a quick barrel change mechanism akin to the Thompson light rifle. The sighting system includes an adjustable front sight with a tight post or an inverted V design mounted on a folding post and a rear leaf sight featuring an open V notch that slides along a ramp. This rear sight is graduated for distances ranging from 200 to 2,000 meters, 219 to 2,187 yards. In addition, there's an anti-aircraft rear peep sight attached to the open rear sight base. For further anti-aircraft aiming capabilities, there's an auxiliary ring sight included in the maintenance kit, which can be fitted onto the barrel jacket and used in conjunction with the folding anti-aircraft rear peep sight. To use the MG42 in its full effect, the effective operation of an MG42 medium machine gun was a well-coordinated effort that relied on the skills and teamwork of a six-member crew. Each member had a specific role, and their combined efforts ensured the MG42 could function at its peak performance on the battlefield. Squad Leader At the forefront of this team was the Squad Leader, a seasoned and experienced soldier responsible for directing the crew's actions. The Squad Leader had a deep understanding of tactics, and their ability to make split-second decisions often meant the difference between success and failure on the battlefield. They coordinated the gun's placement, selected targets, and communicated orders to the rest of the crew. Machine Gunner the heart of the operation was the machine gunner, who carried and operated the MG-42 itself. This skilled marksman was trained in the art of precise shooting, ensuring the weapon's accuracy and effectiveness in suppressing enemy forces. The machine gunner was not only a master of fire control, but also maintained the weapon, ensuring it functioned flawlessly under the harshest conditions. Assistant Gunner Loader The assistant gunner loader played a critical role in supporting the machine gunner. They were responsible for carrying the heavy tripod upon which the MG-42 was mounted. Additionally, the assistant gunner assisted in feeding ammunition belts into the gun, helping to maintain a continuous rate of fire. Their quick reflexes and ability to keep the gun fed with a steady stream of ammunition were essential in sustaining suppressive fire. Riflemen The remaining three members of the crew were riflemen who carried the immense logistical burden necessary to keep the MG-42 operating effectively. These soldiers were responsible for transporting the 1,800 rounds of ammunition, spare barrels, and other essential supplies required for the gun's operation. They also carried entrenching tools to ensure the crew could quickly dig in and establish a defensive position when necessary. This six-member team functioned as a cohesive unit, often forming the backbone of infantry squads and platoons. Their ability to lay down a high volume of sustained and accurate fire made them a formidable force on the battlefield. The MG-42, with its rapid rate of fire and reliability, depended on this well-coordinated crew to unleash its full potential and provide critical support to their fellow soldiers during combat operations. We hope you enjoyed this deep dive into the MG-42, the buzz saw that changed the course of history and caused absolute havoc on the battlefield. We hope you learned something new. If you want to support our channel and get exclusive content, consider becoming a patron on Patreon. Your support helps us continue bringing you more epic stories from the battlefield. Also, be sure to follow us on Instagram for sneak peeks, updates, and more fascinating content related to military history. 
Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a new video from History at War. Until next time, keep exploring the past to understand the present. See you guys soon.